Hello guys and welcome to this new grease pencil tutorial. Today we will review the great grease pencil tools add-on and add-on that ships with the blender and that got a great new feature in blender 3.5. We will see all the features of this add-on and this new practical addition for grease pencil artists called the layer navigator. Before we start please check my gumroad there are some free files there and some paid ones and everything is connected to free tutorials on on this channel consider buying something from there to support the free content on this channel thank you very much so once you activate the native add-on you do n for the end menu and you go to grease pencil and you got these buttons here that will simplify our life first we have box deform here that you can use here with this button or with the shortcut control plus t we are in draw mode let's draw or let's write something and now you can hit this button here or do control T to have a box to deform strokes. In draw mode, the box will deform the last stroke you drew. So you select one of these points and with G you can move it like this. If you are in object mode, let's do backspace to cancel. In object mode, control T, you will deform the whole object like this again. And if you are in edit mode, again backspace or control T to cancel the operation. You go to edit mode here and we can select some strokes, any strokes we want. And we can do control T again and a box will deform only the strokes or the points we have selected. There you go backspace again let's select everything let's do ctrl t again and now we have some options you can create a grid by subdividing this box so ctrl and the right arrow will add some vertical subdivisions and ctrl with the up arrow will create some horizontal subdivisions and you can also use the numbers on the top left one two three two nine and you can combine this with the control and the arrows so control left arrow to decrease and control down arrow now we can select a point here and move it with g you can also use proportional editing if you hit o and then g you can see the circle that you can increase the size with the mouse wheel and do this we have the shortcut M that changes from linear to spline mode. So if you hit M, you see that we have different deformations here. Let's disable professional editing by doing O again. One of these modes will give us some corners here on the edges of the grid. But if you hit M again, you see that it is smoother now. Now if we want to commit our changes, we do either the enter button or the space button and voila. The second feature is canvas rotation. You do control alt middle mouse button, hold them all and you can rotate your canvas like this. To reset your rotation, do just one click with the middle mouse button and voila. You can even go out of camera view anywhere you want and you still can do control alt middle mouse button and do this and you can also reset by one click of the middle mouse button back to camera view now what if you wanted to save the rotation you got here you go here save rotation and now if you rotate you can get back to the saved rotation by doing reset rotation and again you can do Control alt one click with the middle mouse to go back to the first rotation the third feature is timeline scrubbing let's add some keyframes here let's just duplicate this keyframe let's change some keyframes in the other layer just to demonstrate something and now you can do the scrubbing in the viewport instead of here by doing alt and the middle mouse button and if you do control now you can snap on keyframes if you are looking here it is snapping on the keyframes of the active layer if you change the active layer so do alt and the middle mouse button then hit control to snap if we have other types of keyframes for example if you go to the dop sheet here and go to objects mode i add a location keyframe here it is then go here and add another location keyframe and do the alt middle mouse control it will snap on these object keyframes too but if you wanted to just snap on grease pencil frames you go here to our uh, 
gone settings and their timeline screw up you see there are a lot of settings here we can't cover them all in this video you can disable use grease pencil object keyframes you can also choose to always snap and you can enable also rolling mode which will only show the frames in which there are keyframes and make the scrubbing faster enable always snap and try it we do alt middle mouse button and in this case if you don't want it to snap you do control and now it doesn't snap the fourth feature is straight stroke it doesn't work in object mode in draw mode it will straighten the last stroke you drew in edit mode it will straighten any strokes you select. So if you select these three strokes, L to select all the points and straight stroke, and you can adjust the straightening here in the last operation menu. This can be useful in some situation like maybe drawing some lines like this and they aren't straight enough for your taste. You can go to edit mode, select everything and hit this button and straighten them at 100% or you can adjust it the fifth feature are these three buttons here this will zoom your viewport to the actual render zoom that you set up here and their output properties and this is the actual size that we will get when we render our image or animation and zoom to fit will fit the camera view to the whole viewport here but you see it goes also under this gray area i wish that it stopped just here so that i can see the whole picture camera mirror flip just flips the canvas this is very useful for artists it gets you a fresh perspective for what you are doing and you can even when you are here in draw mode you can even draw while the canvas is flipped the sixth feature of this great add-on is the ability to import these brushes here they are grayed out but just to show you how you do it you go here under active tool under this arrow and you do download and import texture brushes pack made by daniel martinez lara now to the new feature that was added and that is the layer navigation if you do y on the viewport you can see your layers and you can change the active layer just by hovering over it you release y and it is now the active layer you can hide a layer you can lock a layer and you can change opacity here get your cursor over this line here Let's draw something on the fill layer. Let's make it the active layer and draw like. Let's do Y again. And now if we get out of this navigator here, you can see the contents of the fills layer. And here you see the contents of the lines layer. Now we have also this plus sign here and you can add new layers. Note that I'm still holding Y, the Y key. You should hold it to keep the navigator on if you go to the first layer you have also a plus sign under that layer to add a layer under the last layer and there's also another great feature is the ability to drag the layers to reorder them so just drag this fills layer something we can't do even here you can't drag layers here you can just reorder them using these arrows we have also some shortcuts while we are holding the Y key. H on the keyboard will hide all layers except the active one. L will lock all layers except the active one. T will enable auto lock layers which locks the layer that is not active and you see that when you hover over a layer it is unlocked and the others are locked if you do y and then you change your mind you don't want to change the active layer you can do either the right mouse button or escape to get out of this menu without changing the active layer the last shortcut is x to enable in front quickly we go to object mode we create a new object maybe a uv sphere like this let's make it bigger with s let's select our grease pencil again and we go under object properties and their viewport display and you see in front is enabled so if you disable it the sphere is hiding our object so maybe in your scene you want your grease pencil object to be partly hidden by another object but you want to see how it looks so again select the stroke and we do y and you can do x and you see that we can enable and disable in front very quickly so this is it for the features and then we have some settings for this navigator we go to edit preferences the layer navigator tab and we have some options to customize the looks 
of the navigator the size of the boxes the label size i guess the font size we can change the shortcuts too this is really a great add-on made by samuel bernou antonio vasquez daniel martinez lara and matthias mendiola so Thank you everyone for this great add-on and for this great new addition to Blender 3.5 and thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't and see you in another video. Peace!